Christian Hernandez here with Sports Video Group. We're at Yankee Stadium for Game 4 of the 2024 World Series. Here with our friends at Beverly Hills Aerials. We have Mads Mazin. He is a camera operator on the drone. And we have Cal Reef Snyder. He is flying the drones that you are seeing shots of at Yankee Stadium, both Dodger Stadium. So, Cal, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll start with you first. I guess you can you can talk about what your role is as the pilot and then the drones that you guys are using for these shots. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the pilot, so I'm flying the drone and placing the camera. And Maj is our camera operator, so he's panning, tilting, and zooming the camera as well. Um, we have two different drones that we're flying here for the World Series. We're flying a gimbaled platform that's going to give you that smooth, beautiful, silky, cinematic shot. And we also have an FPV drone that's going to kind of feel more like a bird or a fighter pilot jet that we can get low across the fans and just add a interesting shot to the broadcast that's never been seen before. Right. Now, Matt, from your side as the camera op, uh, is, are there challenges with both drones? Is it kind of the same operating process depending on what drone it is? How's it like from your end? So with our gimbal drone, it is, uh, you know, we can dual op it or single op it. Uh, that's, that is a completely different look. With the FPV drone, however, usually it is a hard-mounted camera. So it is more up to the pilot to actually frame, frame the shot and also um, fly the drone safely at the same time. My job in that instance becomes more about trying to help him out with his flight path, the timing, the cueing, uh, and making sure that the colors and the exposure look good. Sure. Uh, two legendary stadiums you guys just so happen to be working in Dodger Stadium in LA and Yankee Stadium here. Um, the logistics of both of those stadiums, either you know city regulations, getting clearance to, to fly these things. I also just thought of this question on the fly, but 5.08 start time back in LA, so the sun is setting while over here by the time it's first pitch, it's dark out. Mm -hmm. From a camera operator point of view, what's the challenges that you're dealing with? I mean, uh, if we were to go out into the macro view of it all, just the... The logistics of it and the clearances, uh, coordination between the network, between MLB, our producers, city, fire department, FAA, it's, uh, it's honestly mind-blowing. And uh, luckily, we, we are supported by an incredible team of producers like Alina, Carolina, and Angela, uh, and then all the team at Fox and MLB helping us trying to push the envelope and trying to get these clearances with the FAA and this, the police or the fire department of the city to make this work has been a challenge, um, sometimes down to the wire, but um, the team has not failed us so far. And um, as you can see, here we are in, uh, in the Bronx, yeah. uh, flying inside and outside the stadium. These are shots that have not been seen before. Uh, so we're just happy that we're here and pushing the boundaries. Sure. Yeah. Cal, on your side, because, like Madge said, these, these shots haven't been done, where there's fans inside a stadium, you're kind of, I'm not saying, like, you're flying over, uh, you're flying over people. Yeah. So what are the dangers of that? And, uh, you know, are you having to listen to be like, okay, you can't get too close? What's the kind of barrier that you're pushing in order to get these cool shots but doing it in a safe way? Yeah, obviously safety is our number one priority, and that trumps everything, even a good shot. Um, but we've worked hand-in-hand -hand with the FAA to – make systems that are safe and legal to fly over people. So we have waivers that are allowing us to push the envelope and get creative, involving the crowd in the stadium from inside to outside and vice versa. So um, safely we've been able to do it and that's allowed us to push the envelope with both Fox and MLB to get creative in these shots that we're bringing to the world. And um, it just adds a new perspective to live broadcast that's never been seen before. And it's been challenging at both stadiums because obviously you're flying in different territories like these stadium layouts are completely different. So it's always a new challenge finding these safe, dynamic shots in such a small time frame. Because we have one day of setup here. On top of doing everything else, we have to find our flight paths and yada, 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 et cetera. Speaking of flight paths, you're, you're, you're flying from both New York and L.A. So New York, staying in, you know, unfamiliar, you know, lodging, whatever. But back at home, it is home because you guys are based in L.A. and California. How does that help? In terms of workflows or just comfortability or just being able to be at a place that's familiar to you guys? No, absolutely. So I've flown Dodger Stadium a handful of times and I'm very familiar with the kind of shots that we can acquire there. 
and uh, it's very comfortable, if you will. And um, I'm a Dodgers fan as well, so it's fun to be flying there. But this is actually my first time at the uh, Yankee Stadium. So landing with one day to fully scout the stadium, all the wires and the cables and everything that comes with the new territory has just been really interesting to scout. But with the team that I have around me, it's been very easy as well. And uh, we've been able to execute. It's dynamic there, but from the camera operator side, uh, is it nice being able to sleep in your own bed, eat a home-cooked meal after the game's over, before the game starts? I mean, it's incredible. We rarely get the chance to be home while doing a live job. So um, being home for the Dodgers World Series has been a blessing. But, I mean, regardless if we're home or we're away, just the way we operate, we're always ready. Uh, our kits are completely dialed. It's pretty much the same for us if we operate right next to the office or if we go anywhere in this country or in the you know internationally really yeah but um uh, definitely happy to be go be home and maybe going back home soon too yeah that, 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 that sounds great uh last question for both of you guys but just the feedback that you guys have both gotten from either fox or major league baseball or you know you're, you're scrolling at, on twitter and seeing you know people's reaction on, on, on social media what's that been like and i guess talk about how proud you are of the work that you guys have both and the entire beverly hills ariel team has been doing i mean it, it's it definitely feels great to uh see pe that people are enjoying the work and they're finding that our shots and our work has bringing value and adding to the show it's not just some gimmick that we're just you know slapped onto the show we, I always, when I talk to directors, I say, how can we help add, uh, enhance the show? Not, I'm not just trying to sneak a shot in. So it's definitely, it's been, definitely been rewarding. Um, but that goes without saying that it's, it's only because of a massive team effort. I mean, it includes everybody at the company and everybody in the network is trying to help us achieve this. Um, and years and years of experience that we've compiled doing you know, the biggest sporting events in the country. Right, right. And Cal, before we were talking about it, we talked about the history of, of BHA and kind of how you kind of, guys have grown. So, you know, kind of pick up where Maj is putting down and talk about the history and then the, the feedback from, from the pilot side because you are the guy flying the damn drone. Yeah, absolutely. So we've worked with Fox for, a bit, I believe, about five years now. And they've really helped us push the envelope in live sports. So we've done Daytona 500s with them, Super Bowls, World Series, Field of Dreams. And it's great to have Fox as a, a client and a partnership, honestly. And they've really helped push the envelope in live sports when it comes to drones and just adding a perspective to the live broadcast that has never been seen before, and especially at the World Series. And uh, we've been working with Major League Baseball the past two years to really push the envelope to allow us fly inside the stadiums with home runs and pre-show and post show and it, we've just been able to get really creative and let our creative juices flow thanks to Fox and Major League Baseball and it's gotten nothing but good feedback from it so I'm excited to keep pushing. That's great. Looking at, looking at the World Series and seeing games in a whole new way. Cal, Madge, thanks for the time. Good luck uh, the rest of the way. Hopefully it's more than just game four tonight and uh, maybe we can take a trip back in LA and the Dodgers will still win but well thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it Christian. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. VHA Beverly Hills Ariel is here at the 2024 World Series in Yankee Stadium. For more interviews like this one here in New York, head over to our website at sportsvideo.org.